welcome to the Zucana. The name means the house of power. For a thousand years or so, Iranian men have joined a Sukhana to prove their manhood and draw closer to God. This isn't a gym. You just can't walk in and sign up. Happy hopefuls must spend at least a month watching, meditating, and deciding whether they're made of the right stuff. At first, Zucanas seem to be an odd mix of aerobics, circus acts, and trying to make yourself as dizzy as possible. But it's actually a very ancient way of life. Before the days of standing armies, it was the Zucanis that transformed peasants into soldiers. It's really an Islamic version of martial arts. Their trainer is also their spiritual leader. As they do their workouts, he chants verses from the Shanama an epic poem celebrating the deeds of a mythical Iranian superman. Finally, the spiritual climax. As the trainer beats out his hypnotic rhythm, they take turns at a feat made famous by Sufi mystics, the dance of the whirling dervishes. Sufis believe that as they dance, their souls leave their body and journey to God. And what is all this building up to? Wrestling, Iranian style. I've been watching too much wrestling on television, but after all the warm-up exercises, Iranian wrestling seems to be a bit of an anti-climax. That's until I'm handed uh, these. I've never wrestled before. <laughs> yeah? Okay. The message is clear. This uh, might be journeys to the ends of my life, I think. This is the point when I'm in serious danger of making a fool of myself, and it will be all the more embarrassing if I can't fit into these Iranian wrestling togs. Iranian colors. My new friend, his name is Motion, helps me, but it's a tight fit. Just a little bit too much ice cream last night. Good, good, very good. <laughs> okay. As we enter the ring, I pray that Motion won't be my opponent. But, of course, he is. This is waiting for death. So I'm squaring off with a man who's been wrestling since he was five years old, while I've been a wrestling spectator for about 15 minutes. But for some inexplicable reason, I'm not rolling around on the floor. Maybe they don't want to embarrass me. This is all very confusing. I have no idea what I'm doing. There's a problem. I've obviously committed some dreadful breach of etiquette. But 
but after only a few minutes up against one of Asfahan's wrestling champions, the referee literally throws in the towel and declares the match a draw. And I never did find out what I'd done wrong.